ladies and gentlemen, it's time for one of your favorite segments, one of my favorite segments. But before we get into it, let me give you some context. So I was listening to one of my FBA brothers, you know, big brother, Tariq Nasheed. I was tuning in to his show, and they were talking about how they felt about Obama. Obama came out and said, basically, black men, why aren't you voting for Kamala? Is it because you don't want to vote for a woman and you can't see a woman in charge? And he he basically said, black men, shame on you. Well, let's hear what some of the black people say about the black brothers and, I guess, sisters who, who wanted Obama. This is how they feel about what you said. Uh, So they sent Obama to come get us and bring us back to the Democratic plantation. <laughs> I want Barack Obama and every Democrat out there to know you do not own black people. We are not slaves. Our chains are gone. We do not owe you anything. You want to sit your biscuit head ass down somewhere? Goofy looking mother. First of all, you can't tell any black man what to do ever. That's first of all. Second of all, when is he massa? When is he gonna think that he could go in front of a bunch of black men and tell them what to do? Barack Hussein Obama, the audacity of you to say to us that we are required and we better vote for Kamala Harris and that we don't want to see a woman in a position of power. Will somebody tell Obama that the jig is up, that we do know he is in anchor baby immigrant, that he is not an indigenous black American, that he's a Kenyan American, okay? And that he, we, we, we don't need none of his lecturing. And you think you gonna pop up during an election year and try to scold black men for not wanting to vote for your candidate? Ladies and gentlemen, y'all come on. You have it, guys. I mean, that's what's going on in the streets, man. And I understand this. I understand it from both sides. I mean, I feel like maybe Obama feels like, man, you need to stand up. You need to come and support. Come on. You know what to do. You know what to do. I, okay. But then you heard it from the other side as well. They don't feel like he represents. You know what I mean? So that's the question, guys. What do y'all think? Me personally, I feel like this. If I put on a show or if I or if we advertise a show and we don't sell out, that happens. That's part of the game. Right? We don't sell out. You can't then get mad at the people and say, How come you ain't coming to the shows? Even though you probably feel like you should. But I think about I think it's on me as the promoter to promote the show. Yeah, I didn't get the results I wanted, but hey. If it's on me, I can make it better, right? That's how I feel like it should be handled. I mean, shaming people into thinking that they should do something you want, that's just not the way how it goes. Um, we can cry all we want about different things, but at the end of the day, you got to put in the work and the application. And here's the tough thing. Sometimes you work hard and it ain't good enough. So that's... That's why everything is a risk. Everything. You got to earn everything. Ain't nothing given to nobody. It ain't never going to happen that way. You got to earn it. You got to get in there and stay 10 toes down. And if people feel like it, you just got to get up on your grid. And if it's something that's what you do, you come back at it. That's what I say. But what you say? Ugh. Well 